Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I'm going to show you the difference between subprojects and sections. Now I'm doing this because this week I've been reviewing a few of the Todoist forums and I noticed that there is quite a lot of confusion about which is best to use subprojects in the sidebar or sections within the actual task window. So that's what I'm going to show you this week. Now before we go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips tricks and news on using Todoist then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into my demo account now and I'm going to show you pretty much everything you need to know about subprojects and sections and the difference between the two. Okay, so let's have a look at a traditional way of managing your tasks. So one of the way managing your projects I should say. So the traditional way is to create a parent project such as work like this and then create what we call the sub projects underneath so a home office equipment internal onboarding hybrid working program and sales manager recruiting so this would be the traditional way of managing your projects and to be fair there's nothing wrong with this it is a little bit slower than using the time sector system but if you're more comfortable having all your projects in your projects list there's absolutely nothing wrong with that it's really a case of what works for you but in this video what I really want to do is to show you the difference between using these i.e. the actual uh, sub projects or using, as we look in here, the actual using projects as sections rather than sub projects. So, okay, so let's get started here. What you find is if you do it this way, i.e., using sub projects, if you look, tap on the main, this is used to happen, if you tap on the main parent project you own you don't get all these so you have to go into these separately and to go like that now there is possibly a way of doing that and I've just thought of this so I'm doing this live um, so if I type work like that uh, it's only going to show me the tasks that I have inside my work project if I go into here into search and just type one asterisk oops one asterisk and type work, work, and hit return, Not it's going to show me the same. So there's not a great deal of flexibility, as there used to be in the past, actually, for doing it this way. What you may find, though, is actually setting it up as sections. So I've got the same projects here as sections. And let's just say, for argument's sake, that I decide that I need to finish off my home office equipment project today. So all I need to do is open up that project like this and I can see what I need to do. So in this case, I just need to make two purchases. I need to buy a standing desk and I need to purchase a human scale freedom chair. That's it. Now, what I might do is I would have probably done my research before now. So these would be clickable links to the actual websites. So that's one way of doing it. And another way of doing it is I don't know if I put them in there. No, I didn't put them in there. Uh, like with your internal onboarding program, again, I can open up that one and close it like that. Now, another way of doing it with sections, and this is why you really want to be migrating your work, I think, migrating your work to sections, is this has got a great, a lot more flexibility. So, for example, I can go into my three dots up on the top right hand corner here and I can click view as board so now I see all my projects as I want as a board and I can see the tasks all in one now if I hit m key that will remove the ment sidebar so I can see a focused view of everything that I need in order for my current work projects now of course you probably have a lot more than four work projects but 
essentially this is how you can actually see it and if you prefer the list view you can just go back in there and so view as list you can also of course open these up like this and see all your tasks in one go so that's one way of actually using uh, sections over side over sub projects you've got a lot more flexibility with sections than you do with sub projects now let's look at the same thing but in areas of focus now hopefully if you've you've downloaded my free areas of focus workbook so these will be familiar to you so family and relationships career and business finances health and fitness personal development life experiences spirituality and purpose now again i can set these up as sub projects right here which is great now for those of you who have been following me for a while I have to confess, I do not keep my areas of focus in my real Todoist like this. I just want to point that out. My areas of focus are all managed from my notes app and the only things that would be coming through into my Todoist are the actual tasks related to my areas of focus. So in this example for family and relationships, the only thing that comes up is call mum and dad which would be in my recurring areas of focus. I'm just showing you how you can do this in a traditional creating sub projects and projects in your pro in your sidebar. I do not usually recommend it this way but I know some people have a real difficulty with simplicity and much prefer complexity so I wanted to show you why you want to be moving away from sub projects and why you should be using sections. So this is all done in sections. Now the beauty of doing areas of focus in sections if you wish to do it this way is again is in the board view. Let's just go back and remove the sidebar. So I can go through this now when I do my weekly planning session and make sure that my areas of focus are in balance. So this is just a really good way of managing your areas of focus if you're not prepared to use a notes app for this kind of thing. So again, you can put it down here and you're just going to end up with long lists of stuff, which just from my own personal experience, I can assure you that once you start dumping tasks into things like this, this is where tasks go to die and you just don't start checking them off. So this is just something that you may want to have a look at and consider. You may prefer to keep your projects down here. That's entirely up to you. Now, I just should point out, if you do want to create a task sub-projects like this, the easiest way to do it is to pick one. So you can start off here, areas of focus. But let's just pick one here. Go to the three dots at the side and you can click on add project below. And then you can add a new project. So I just type test here and you can see that as I add that that comes up underneath my purpose right there and you can do it that way no problem at all for those of you who are in want to or decide that the best way to do it is to do it through areas of focus all you need to do is as you go down you can see I can create just by moving my mouse I can add a section right there so there you go that's the difference between using sub projects and using using sections. I think you will find that sections are much more flexible because it gives you a variety of different views that you may wish to use. But if you're more if you prefer the more traditional kind of old-fashioned way of doing things and having sub projects, that's fine as well. The only thing to keep in mind is and this is one of the reasons why I generally don't advise people to use sub projects is that your projects list will soon get very, very big. Because what you're going to be doing here is you're going to bring in your personal projects as well. So you've got work projects, personal projects, and very soon you're going to have a projects list which just goes off this side menu. And when that happens, when it comes to processing your inbox, it just becomes a nightmare and gets really, really slow. So one of the reasons why I just moved completely away from keeping my projects in to do is is more about the simplicity of that when I go through an inbox for example all I have to do is decide when am I going to do it this week next week this month next month or really sometime in the future so that's just my personally but I did want to give you the options of what you can do by the sub projects or actual 
sections. So there you go. Hopefully that's given you a little bit of light on the two differences there. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.